Hey there everyone. So here we are with another quick eat for the summer. Um, just something to stay cool. It's our favorite, one of our favorite ice cream places. This place is called El Arco de Michoacan and their ice cream is to die for. So this one right here, this one right here is fresa con crema, and this is really good. It's the perfect, the perfect amount of strawberry to cream. It's really good. This is something I suggest if you guys give them a try. Check, uh, try this one. This one's really good. That one, what'd you get? Um, Cookie Monster, I think. Cookie Monster. Yeah. And then what did you get, Nettie? Brownie. You got brownie. And you got brownie too somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this one, what I got is abuelita at the bottom and then queso on top. And yes, you heard me right. It's ice cream with cheese in it. It's really good. Very, very good, guys. So, I like strawberries. I'll get anything strawberry, including strawberry shortcake. Not the cartoon, but that sandwich anyway. So this one's pretty good. It's um, it's pretty much the ice cream version of that, uh, which is um, also for the sauce con crema. But this has uh, the actual chunks of strawberry. And it's really, really good. So this is, um, for those who know what La Michoacana is, this is um, another version of La Michoacana, but I think this one is a step above that. We've been going to this place for a couple of years and uh, it's a pretty good. The prices are pretty decent. Um, just for reference, uh, we got that uh, fresas con crema, which is a little bit more pricey. But all this that we got and came out to like 23 bucks. So if we wouldn't have gotten that, mm -hmm. we probably could have been under $20. So shoot, I mean, the only thing right now with the restrictions, you can't eat inside. So that's, uh, but I mean, that's all places. But I mean, honestly, this is really good. They have everything from Gancito, uh, Pistachio, the chamoy, Oreo, uh, Oreo cookies Snickers, and cream, yeah. uh, cotton candy. I mean, they got a. I, I, I think they even got like rose petals. They got a whole, whole, whole bunch of flavors. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I'm not that adventurous. To try rose petal or avocado, but I mean, if they have it, it clearly must be good. And on top of that, they also make their own sandwiches. I'm sorry, ice cream sandwiches, uh, paletas. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also have uh, aguas. So they have Jamaica. They got, I think they got like a mango. They got a chia, lemonade, and it, it's it's really good. Yeah, so you know what? Hold on, I didn't even show that one. Oh, you have it. Yeah, so this is the drink that we got there too. Fresa con crema. But it is thick and it's creamy. It is so good. And to me, on a hot day, it, it's so, it is another refreshing drink that I like. So, mm. like he said, this place for 20, for tw about $25, we all got um at least one or two scoops of ice cream we got the drink and then we got the uh the, the fresa con crema also what i wanted to add is they do elote they have elote mm -hmm. they do nachos That's they have all kinds of snacks and treats so it's not just an ice cream parlor they have all these other treats that you can pick up as well yeah that's what i was gonna say their nachos are actually pretty good I, yeah they're I really good i don't know what kind of cheese they use but they are really good they're elote you can either get the actual elote or you can get in a cup it's cool because um you can actually have them with the, of course the cotija cheese but they top it off with um cheetos so it makes it really good what's also special is um for the holidays sometimes they actually have tamales and their tamales mm. are really good they have i think they had chicken and they also had the uh 
the cheese, cheese and jalapeno. Yeah. And it was really good. Like on a on a on a cold night when not everybody wants it ice good. cream, it, it was good. Some elote with with uh, with the uh, tamal. It was it was pretty good. It's like having the elote guy instead of you. You go oh, there. Yeah. yeah, instead of having him pass through your neighborhood, you go to uh you know his known spot all the time. But anyways, it's a, like I said, it's a nice it's a nice treat in the summertime for everyone to get a little bit of something that they like. And not only that, I mean I what I, I mean we, we had gone to uh, say for instance um Baskin Robbins or or Colston and Colston well it's still it's still good even though we haven't been there years, but Colston it's it's kind of pricey. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have a lot of options, but it can get kind of pricey. And what's cool about this place is that it has a whole bunch of flavors. They have so many flavors that honestly, if you can't choose something, you're, you're just being picky because they have so many things. Uh, they, have, they even got sherbet. Like I said, they got uh, yeah, the chamoy, pistachio, um, arroz con leche. I mean, they got a whole bunch of stuff. And, and yeah, they're, they're, the corn is really, really good. So honestly... I would, I would, I would recommend this yeah. even more than La Michoacana, more than Baskin Robbins. Absolutely, oh, yeah. um, it's very, it's, it, it is very high quality. I like it, and honestly, to me, you can't go wrong with this. I just wanted to show you, like, this is if you're a strawberry lover, this is like the perfect thing for you. It's just strawberry and crema. You do have the option if you want to put. Well, sweet cream. Yeah. But you do have the option to um, add granola. I'm mm. a big fan of strawberries, but this I is see myself. really good. Really you also, good. what's cool is that you have the choice. She got fresh strawberries, but you also have the choice of getting uh, frozen strawberries. Some people, hey, they tend to prefer uh, frozen uh, strawberries. They like the taste, but I like it better uh, when it's when, when they're If you're not going to eat it right away, I would suggest doing the frozen strawberries. And the only reason why is because when they're frozen by the time you actually get to eat it they're still enjoyable they're not soggy if you get fresh strawberries and you're not going to eat it right away they're just sitting there and by the time you eat it they're going to be all soggy and they might have a little bit of a taste so i would say those are the differences but pretty good who wants them i'll go home sorry stop recording <laughs>